Hi everybody, today's focus I am testing vinegar to see if it can remove bacteria from my cleaning cloths. I've had a handful of viewers ask me if I could test vinegar in my washing machine as a rinsing agent to see if it can remove bacteria from my cleaning cloths. Some of those requests came from Love Bug, No Toss Up, PYT500, Came JE5HZ, A7 Mad 3 BBAS, PYT500, BL6032, Neum 70421, and TBA1879. So to see how well vinegar can remove bacteria from my cleaning cloths, the first thing I'm going to do is take four cleaning cloths and make sure I can get a lot of bacteria on them. So I'm going to wipe these white cleaning cloths in my kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and swab the cloths. Place those samples on a petri dish so that I can make sure that I have bacteria on the cloths before washing them. Then I'm going to take the cloths and put them in my washing machine. I'm not going to use any soap at all. I'm only going to put vinegar in my fabric softener um, compartment because that is what is used in the rinse cycle. And that's what all the other laundry sanitizing products suggest that you do. Now my fabric softener compartment, I measured it can hold four ounces, so I'm going to put four ounces of vinegar in my fabric softener compartment to be used in the rinse cycle. Now this is just regular Walmart great value vinegar at 5% acidity. I'm going to wash them with the towel setting in my washing machine. When they come out of the washing machine, I'll swab them with sterile swabs and put those samples on different petri dishes. That way we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on the cloth before washing and after washing. Then I'll place the cloths in the dryer and when they come out of the dryer, I'll swab them a third time just to see if there's any bacteria left on them after drying in the dryer. So let's see how well white vinegar can remove bacteria from my cleaning cloths when used in the rinse cycle with no other detergents in my washing machine.
Now for some results. Before I get started, I do want to let everybody know that I conducted this test four separate times. Each time, I received the same results. Let's look at the kitchen sink. The before section was after I had wiped it in the kitchen sink, but before we put it in the washing machine. And we can see we have a tremendous amount of bacteria on the cloth, which is fantastic. That's what we wanted. We want to have a lot of bacteria on the cloth so we can test and see how well vinegar removes it. And in the after section, so this is after it came out of the washing machine, which only had a vinegar rinse, no detergent. We can see that there's a slight decrease in bacteria, but there still is a tremendous amount of bacteria on that cleaning cloth. So I'm going to say that vinegar does not do a good job at all at removing bacteria from my laundry. The kitchen sink drain. The before section again has the bacteria that was on the cloth before it went to the washing machine and we can see a good sampling of bacteria there. And in the after section, we can see a decrease in bacteria. Again, it's a, it is a decrease. It's not a significant decrease at all, especially compared to some of the other laundry sanitizers I've tested. So I'm going to say that the vinegar did not do a good job at all of removing bacteria from my kitchen sink drain cleaning cloth. Next, let's have a look after the cloths are dried in my dryer. So this shows both the kitchen sink KS and the kitchen sink drain KSD um, after they came out of the dryer and we can see that the bacteria was removed. So from this test we can see the vinegar decreased the bacteria a little bit but the dryer is what removed the majority of the bacteria. The bathroom sink. The before section has a tremendous amount of bacteria. That's a huge smearing of bacteria. That is a beautiful sampling of bacteria. That means I got a great amount on that cleaning cloth, which is fantastic. In the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but there is still a tremendous amount of bacteria on that cleaning cloth after being washed with only vinegar in the rinse cycle. So again, vinegar does not do a good job at all at removing the bacteria from my cleaning cloths. The toilet rim. The before section shows a tremendous amount of bacteria. Again, this is great, exactly what we want. In the after section, again, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria, but again, it's not a significant decrease at all. So the vinegar did not do a good job at removing the bacteria from my toilet rim cleaning cloth. Let's have a look at after coming out of the dryer. So the bathroom sink cloth, there was a decrease in bacteria for sure, but even the dryer was unable to remove all of the bacteria from the bathroom sink cleaning cloth. And the toilet rim cloth had about one or two tiny colonies on it. So the dryer did remove a significant amount of bacteria from that cleaning cloth. Overall, I am not impressed with vinegar's ability to remove bacteria in the laundry. It most certainly is not something that I would put in my washing machine at all as a means to try to remove bacteria from any laundry. There are other laundry sanitizers that you put in the rinse cycle that do a much better job than the vinegar. Now I know some people say they use vinegar because they like it as a softener. I don't test that. I don't know how to test the fabric softness of a towel. It's not something that I can do, so it's not something that I can speak of. Perhaps these towels are softer. I do not know. It's not something that I noticed. It's just not something that I do notice. I don't use fabric softener normally in my washing machine ever, so I was just testing vinegar's ability to remove the bacteria. I personally am not going to use vinegar in my rinse cycle in my laundry to remove bacteria. If I want to sanitize my laundry, I'm going to reach for one of the other laundry sanitizers that I've tested that show that they're able to remove bacteria from my laundry. So if there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. I do have a list of about a thousand suggestions, which is absolutely fantastic because it lets me see what my viewers want to see, the type of content that you want to see. You know, are you more interested in floor cleaners or uh, laundry sanitizers or overall multi-purpose cleaners? It's fantastic and I love seeing the suggestions that you have. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email. That's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know I should check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.